Job 15. Then Eliphaz the Temanite replied, Would a wise man answer with empty notions or fill his belly with a hot east wind? Would he argue with useless words, with speeches that have no value? But you even undermine piety and hinder devotion to God. Your sin prompts your mouth. You adopt the tongue of the crafter. Your own mouth condemns you, not mine. Your own lips testify against you. Are you the first man ever born? Were you brought, brought forth before the hills? Do you listen in on God's counsel? Do you limit wisdom to yourself? What do you know that we do not know? What insights do you have that we do not have? The grey-haired and the aged are on our side, men even older than your father. Are God's consolations not enough for you, words spoken gently to you? Why has your heart carried you away, and why do your eyes flash? So you vent your rage against God and pour out such words from your mouth. What is man that he could be pure, or one born of a woman? that he could be righteous. If God places no trust in his holy ones, if even the heavens are not pure in his eyes, how much less man who is vile and corrupt, who drinks up evil like water. Listen to me and I will explain to you. Let me tell you what I have seen. What wise man have declared, what wise men have declared hiding nothing received from their fathers, to whom alone the land was given, when no alien passed, by, passed among them. All his days the wicked man suffers torment, the ruthless through all the years stored up for him. Terrifying sounds fill his ears, when all seems well, murderers attack him. He despises, he despairs of escaping the darkness, he is marked for the sword. He wanders about, food for vultures. He knows the day of darkness is at hand. Distress and anguish fill him with terror. They overwhelm him like a king poised to attack. Because he shakes his fist at God and vaunts himself against the Almighty, defiantly charging against him with a thick, strong shield. Though his face is covered with fat and his waist bulges with flesh, he will inhabit ruined towns and houses where no one lives. Houses crumble to rubble. He will no longer be rich and his wealth will not endure, nor will his possessions spread over the land. He will not escape the darkness. A flame will wither his shoots and the breath of God's mouth will carry him away. Let him not deceive himself by trusting what is worthless, for he will not, for he will get nothing in return. Before his time, he will be paid in full, and his branches will not flourish. He will be like vine stripped of its unripe grapes, like an olive tree shedding its blossom. For the company of the godless will be barren and fire will consume the tents of those who love bribes. They conceive trouble and give birth to evil. Their womb fashions deceit.